friends welcome to a new vlog if you are new here my name is Kim I am a third year fifth grade teacher in West Michigan and today is Monday it is May 10th I believe yes May 10th it's right around 7 30 right now so I just got to school a little bit ago I sent a couple of quick emails and then decided to pop on and say hello so today is going to be a very busy day I do have two meetings after school so I have a grade level meeting which is going to be on Google Meet it's with all of the fifth grade teachers throughout my district so I have that scheduled and then I also have a PTO meeting after that so I am one of the teacher representatives on our PTO um, I am along with one other teacher who is in my building and so we have that meeting starting at six o'clock and typically they go until at least seven o'clock sometimes as late as like 7 30 8 o'clock it just depends on the meeting hopefully tonight's won't be too too long I think it is supposed to be like kind of chilly tonight and usually we do our meetings outside because the uh, parents are not allowed in the building this year and so anyways hopefully it's not too too chilly because I am wearing a dress today though I did pack leggings just in case so I tried to be a little bit proactive <laughs> Other than that, today should be a good day. We are starting a new social studies unit today, and then we are just going to continue building upon some of the things that we've been working on. So overall, it should be a good day, but yes, just a busy day after school. Not really looking forward to multiple meetings, but hopefully they're not too, too painful. So I think I'm going to pull you off of the tripod and then show you my outfit in the little mirror moment. So let's go do that. Okay, so this is today's outfit. My dress, I actually just got this weekend from Old Navy and I got it in the clearance section because it must have been an online order because it's a petite size and they don't usually carry petite sizes like in dresses in store, at least at my store. So it's the perfect size for me because it's not like super, super long because you know, I'm only 5'1", 5'2"-ish on a good day. So anyways, it's not too, too long. And then I also got it for half off, which was awesome. So I think I paid like maybe 10 bucks for this maybe 15 I don't really remember but yeah it's just like a little t-shirt dress and it's super comfortable and then I have on this really long drapey brown sweater over it I really like browns with black and white and so this is from a local thrift store I got this a while back for probably like a couple dollars and then I have on my little mules from Old Navy as well I have these in black and then also in like a taupe color and I really really like them so that's the outfit for today. Lanyard, as always, is from Etsy. And then all my rings, as always, are from Pura Vida on both hands. I love that I'm like a ring girl now. That's so fun. And also these nails I showed in my last two videos. These are from the Kiss Impress brand and they are in the color YOLO. So super fun. If you missed it, in one of my last videos, I showed me making this little mirror sticker for my affirmation station as well. And I just think it's so stinking cute. So I love affirmations. They make my heart happy and I hope they make my students happy as well. Also, I don't think I showed this new display in my last videos, so I wanted to show it today. This is my book display at the front of the room, and usually I do these based on like season or holidays or whatever it might be. So right now it is Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and that's for all of May. And so I just have a bunch of awesome books on display here, and my students always get excited to come up and pick out books that are related to whatever like holidays we're talking about, or you know whatever seasons or whatever it might be like I said I change it based on like the month or the season or whatever and then usually old ones I put over here so right now I have some of the books that were on display right there because then if they have a book that they're like oh man I meant to read that book that was on display but now the display is changed around then they can go to that bucket right there and then grab whatever books they want so I wanted to quickly show you my reading curriculum overview for the week. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm teaching this week, here is just kind of like a brief overview of it. And we use Reading Street curriculum. So yes, this is our main selection for the week. And then we always have a paired selection that we read on Thursdays. So our main selection we read on Tuesday, we review on Wednesday, and then our paired selection we read on Thursdays. So on Mondays, I basically just like front load <laughs> 
a bunch of this information down here and then we make a prediction about what we think the text is going to be about so as far as comprehension this week they cycle through so this is not the first time we've talked about these this year but we are coming back to main idea and details and then talking about text structure fluency we're talking about appropriate phrasing writing and conventions we actually are doing something different right now so not doing that we have our vocabulary amazing words which are a couple grades above grade level and then spelling this week we're focusing on the spelling pattern of final syllable having ant ent ance or ence and those are our 20 words i haven't been doing challenge words recently sometimes i do sometimes i don't but i just haven't for sake of time and energy lately and then listening and speaking we don't need to worry about either so skipping a couple things on here but yeah this is our overview and that's what it looks like so I was just getting all situated and ready for the day and I realized yesterday when I was vlogging I was all excited because I'm like oh my gosh I'm totally done with copies for the year like this is crazy and since being here this morning for the last like half hour I've already realized I forgot to copy two things for this week <laughs> So, oops, I will have to go down maybe during like my planning and make some copies, which is fine, but it's just like funny because I was here yesterday and I was like racking my brain. I'm like, do I have everything I need? Yeah, check, check, check. I seem like I'm good. But yeah, I forgot a couple of things, which in my defense, they're things that normally I print the whole unit at once and I didn't do that for this unit for whatever reason. And so I thought I had it, but I just checked my little cubby over there for my extra copies or like my future week copies to pull them out and realize they were not in there. So, <laughs> oops, you win some, you lose some. But yes, I will have to go down and make some copies during my planning, which is fine. Okay, so I think I'm gonna sign off for this morning, but I will see you when I see you. I don't know when that will be, but at some point. <laughs> Good morning! Now it is Tuesday and my meetings yesterday ended up going really well but they just went until so late that I could not be bothered to film anymore after I got out of those meetings. So yes, yeah, survived my last two meetings of the year for my grade level meeting and my PTO meeting, not my like last two meetings period. I definitely still have more meetings. I actually have one this morning at eight o'clock. Right now it's like 7.30ish. And so I do have a meeting this morning, but those are two of like my big meetings that are recurring that now I have finished, if that makes sense. So yes, I mentioned in my last vlog, but I don't know if I mentioned in this one yet, but we are done June 11th. And so we are wrapping up. We officially have a month left of school because today is May 11th. So kind of crazy. And yesterday I definitely had a moment with my students where I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, you're leaving me in a month. You're leaving me. And they were like, yeah, we know. And they were all sad and I was all sad. Some of them were excited. Like some of them are definitely excited for middle school, but I'd say most of them are very nervous, which I'm sure is normal. But yeah, I had a moment yesterday where I was like, guys, you have to be able to do this stuff because you're gonna go to middle school. So we have to learn how to do it right now, okay? <laughs> And they were like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of funny because in one of my last vlogs, I talked about how my group of kids is like so fun because I can get them like way riled up and way crazy and then get them back down. Well, yesterday they were being like just off the wall, not all of them, but just like a select few were being off the wall. And my normal stuff that I do that works, like counting down from 10 and saying, oh, I know that you'll be ready with X, Y, and Z out and with your bottom in your chair and, you know, laser beam focus and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and I'll count down, whatever. Usually that works like every time with these kids. But yesterday I definitely had some, like I got to zero and they were not ready. <laughs> and then another thing I do, I'll be like, if you can hear my voice, pat your head and rub your stomach. Or if you can hear my voice, pop your nose or like whatever I'll just do random stuff and usually again that works really well but yesterday yesterday it was not going too hot so I'm like oh my gosh did I jinx it because I said in a vlog that it worked so well I don't know but it was still a good day yesterday but I definitely had moments where I was like oh no you guys what is going on because they were just feeling very rambunctious but this group like they are just so much fun and I really really enjoy this class I'm going to miss them a lot at the end of the year but yes yesterday I was like wow you guys I was like I was just bragging about you I was. I was just bragging about how you guys do such a good job and now I'm <laughs> not doing such a good job. But that's okay. Today is a new day. Today will be a better day. We will respond better. We will be ready to go. And if we're not, you know, I'm just going to ask for some patience <laughs> and hopefully, you know, 
be able to give them grace if they're acting like fifth graders because they are fifth graders so it makes sense for them to act that way so anyways I feel like my voice sounds weird this morning but maybe that's just to me do you guys ever have that like when you first talk in the morning you feel like you sound funny I feel like that right now so I'm gonna pull you off the tripod and I will show you my outfit and then I do need to get a couple of things ready for the day so let's go do that here we go okay so this is my outfit for today I feel like my mirror got turned a little bit so it's kind of hard to see but this top is just like a plain t-shirt and it's from Old Navy I went this weekend so I got a few different things I got this shirt in black and in white and I think it's called their like relaxed fit boxy shirt or something like that and I just liked the fit of it and like how it's kind of like a I don't know if you can tell but it's almost like a mineral wash look but yeah I really like that so I got that this weekend and then I actually thrifted this sweater this weekend as well and I really like this it's super soft and I like like the longer sweaters so yes I got that cardigan and then I also recently within the last like couple weeks got these pants so this is the first time I've worn them since I like washed them and everything and these are from Plato's closet I absolutely love Plato's and so yes I've been going like all the time and I got these pants and they're like super comfy but they also like look really cute and then my mules again are from old navy i wear these like all the time now since i got them and that's the outfit for today i've been wearing a lot of just like black white and tan lately because it's just like super easy so yes that's the outfit and now i'm gonna go get ready for my meeting and i will see you when i see you okay hello sweet friend so it is after school now it's actually like 4 30 we get out at 3 30 so i've been here for a while I'm just about to leave, but I met with my team teachers after school and we talked about what we're gonna do for fifth grade graduation because the parents can't come obviously this year. So we made a plan for something else to do in place of that and we're just gonna wait to get it approved by our principal tomorrow. So yes, I'm excited about that. So it feels good to have that kind of planned out. And then also my other little sunshiny moment from today was that one of my students gave me two little fun size candy bars, little Kit Kats, which I love Kit Kats and I like never ever ever have them. So I'm super because I eat these and then he made me this cute little bracelet like come on this is adorable he made me this fun little bracelet it's like one of those rainbow loom type ones but then he added in his own beads and it's so stinking cute so I need to write him a little thank you card I always keep little thank you cards in the back so I'm gonna whip one up for him so I can have it waiting on his desk when he gets here tomorrow but that was super super sweet and totally made my day so now I'm going to head home because I'm trying not to stay here super late and I've been doing a pretty good job so anyway Hello sweet friends. So now it is Thursday morning and yesterday I did not vlog at all. I actually left my vlogging camera at home yesterday because I was exhausted yesterday morning. So I'm feeling more like with it today. <laughs> but yeah, I was so tired yesterday and I don't really have a good reason for why, but I was just tired. Sometimes you have those days. So anyway, today is a new day though and I'm feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed and ready to start the day. Yesterday actually ended up being a really, really good day. I got a note from a sub that I had yesterday. So I had just like a 30 minute meeting. So I had a quick like floating sub is what they call them in my building. So basically Basically it's a sub who goes like room to room while people have different meetings and they just stay in for like 30 minutes maybe an hour however long the meeting is and so I had this sub who came in the room for just 30 minutes kind of in and out kind of thing and it's always stressful when we have those days because like we know that the subs have like this strict schedule like they have to get from you know class to class and so they come in and basically we have to take off as soon as they walk in so <laughs> they always walk in and I'm like hi welcome to our classroom it's so nice to meet you like here's what we're doing okay bye and then I have to like run to the back room or like wherever I'm going for my meeting and so anyways I you know did that whole spiel had my meeting the meeting went really well and then I came back out of my back room and the guest teacher super kind you know very friendly went to her next class and then she told me that she left me a little note and so I read the note and it was so sweet giving me a book recommendation for a book to share with my students and then also sharing that she's watched my YouTube channel before and I was like wait that's so nice so it was just like such a glimmer in my day my friend Jess calls them glimmers when you have like those just things that brighten your day and just make you smile and that was totally that like it was just such a sweet note and then also I saw this morning that she actually sent me an email last night and was just so sweet and just went like above and beyond to just be so kind and I'm like I want to like print out the email and frame it because it was like the nicest thing ever so anyways 
I love those things like those little bursts of sunshine from people who you don't expect it from where it just like totally changes your day and that was like her yesterday for me so yeah she was such a doll and that was so fun and now today is a new day it is bright and sunny already this morning which is very exciting and yeah I'm basically just ready to start the day I packed some fruit this morning to replenish my supply here at school so I cut up some little strawberries I got these little containers from my mom for Easter actually she gave me a bunch of these containers so I have that one and then I've been like loving clementines lately so I've been bringing two clementines to school every day and eating them like every day I just love them they're so good and then I have a banana I almost always have a banana with me I don't always eat it but I usually have one and then also these I'm sure are not like super great for you but I also don't care because they taste good I really like these nature valley bars and a lot of times I'll have these as like a snack during the day if I'm starting to get hungry because they're really filling and our lunch isn't till like almost one o'clock and so it's just nice to have something that's like really filling that will hold me over until lunch so I'm not getting hangry at my students or anything like that so anyways I do need to do a little bit of running around this morning and oh I want to share with you the book that I'm reading right now hold on a second Okay, so I'm reading this book right now. It's called Game Changer, Book Access for All Kids, and it's by Donalyn Miller, who is the same author of The Book Whisperer, and then also Colby Sharp, who I follow on Twitter, and also I've seen him present before, and he is phenomenal. He's actually a fellow Michigan teacher, which is super fun. So anyways, I've been reading this, and it's actually from my library, but I like it so much that I just ordered my own copy as well, so that way I can stick a bunch of post-it notes in it and like, you know, write all over the post-it notes and not have to like take them out. So I'm super excited to have my own copy soon, but until then I have been reading this copy from the library and I really like it so far. I think that book access is huge and it just gives some really great examples in here of things that you can do in your school. And yeah, I just really like this. So I will link this below if you're interested in picking it up as well. And then also I'll link Donalyn and Colby's Twitters below as well because I think that they have some really great stuff on there. Also kind of random, but yesterday I came up with a new game with my students that was really fun. So I want to share it because it takes like a minute. And anyways, what I do is I pull a popsicle stick with the student's name on it. And then I only write the vowels in their name and they have to try to guess like whose name it is. And I write the vowels in order so you can definitely like figure it out. But the kids thought it was so fun and then it was like really fun to figure out which kids have like the same vowels in their name in the same order. Because there were a few of them that we did that like it could have been multiple different students. But yeah, it was really fun and then it was just like a nice little transition type game where you know sometimes you just need like a game that literally lasts like a minute or less it was one of those games so I would highly recommend I just did it like on the whiteboard and I had a few kids guess who it was and then you know told them who it was and that was really fun so yes anyways I'm gonna go run around I'm gonna get ready for my day oh actually maybe I'll show you my outfit really quick I'll show you my outfit and then I'll run around okay here we go nothing fancy but this is what I'm wearing for today my shirt I just thrifted a couple weeks ago it is a Originally from Chico's though which is like I feel like it's like an older lady brand right like am I wrong or not like old but like middle-aged right I don't know maybe I'm wrong but anyways it's really cute it's like short sleeve kind of like a campy type shirt but it's actually like kind of like a silk material I think it's not actually silk because you can machine wash it but yeah it's really cute I like it a lot it does kind of wrinkle which is annoying but you know it is what it is this sweater I wear all the time it's from Nordstrom Rack and then I also thrifted these pants I've been loving like these pull-on old lady trousers lately I think they're so comfortable and cute and then also I just got these sandals from Old Navy and I actually got them in two different colors because I like them so much and they were like less than $20 and they're that material that's like here I'll just show you I just got them so they're clean still they're that material that's like definitely like super waterproof so I can totally wear these to the beach over the summer and they have a little bit of a platform and then like that little I don't know whatever you call that contouring I guess and so they're super comfortable so yes I have these in the taupe color that I have right now and then I also got them in white so I will link these below because like I said I just got these so they're definitely still available and then one more thing to show you before I let you guys go. Um, so cute. My students leave notes to our custodian on this board that's like our bathroom board. And we'll say like, have a great night or thanks so much or whatever. And then the custodian writes little notes back. Like how sweet is that? Like, I love it. Good morning, now it is Friday, which 
which I am super excited about. I will be the first to admit that this week went by a little bit slowly, but that is okay. It is Friday now. We made it. My students have been a little bit off the wall this week, like just full of energy, which is fun. But at the same time, they are either choosing to forget our routines and procedures, or they have honestly forgotten our routines and procedures because of all of like the craziness that is the end of the year. So it has been a little bit of an exhausting week, <laughs> like a little bit to put it lightly. But yes, I am excited that today's Friday and honestly like just soaking up all of these moments with my students while I can because it's already the end of the year. And a bunch of you actually commented on one of my last videos saying that you're done in May. So you guys are even closer than I am to the end of the school year. So if that's you, my heart goes out to you. I know how crazy it is because it is crazy in my classroom. So I can imagine that many of yours are probably the same. Definitely let me know in a comment below when May hits, are your kids like over it? So this morning I do have some laminating that I want to do and then also I need to prep a spelling test because I've been having my students take their spelling test on Google Forms. It makes it super easy for me to grade. I printed out some things that I bought on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I'm gonna go laminate those hopefully this morning. Otherwise I'll do that during my prep today. But that's the plan for today and then it is the weekend. I don't have any crazy plans this weekend but I'm excited to relax a little bit. Maybe, you know, get outside. It's supposed to be pretty nice this weekend. So I'm pumped about that. So anyways, I'm gonna go run around and then I will see you when I see you. Hello, sweet friends. So now it is Saturday and I actually am really excited for today because I'm gonna go buy some roller skates. My husband used to do like roller hockey or whatever like back in the day and so he bought a new pair of roller blades yesterday he had a personal day so he went out and got roller blades and was using those and i was watching him last night and i was like oh my gosh that looks so fun i don't necessarily trust myself with roller blades because those are the ones that have like the line of wheels like the inline skates but i feel like roller skates will be easier to use because those are the ones that have like the double wheel if that makes sense so anyways i'm going to go out today to a couple towns over and see if they have some it says online that they do so i'm super excited so i'll take you guys with me as i get the skates and then share them with you and then also this morning i changed out my nails so my yellow ones i had had on for a couple of weeks so it was time to change them so now i have on these white ones again the impressed ones honestly at this point like I have just decided that these are my life now. Like, I love these. They are so nice because, you know, you don't have to deal with, like, the chipping nail polish or anything. They're super easy to put on. You don't have to wait for them to dry or anything. Like, I just stuck these on right before I started filming. So, yeah, super exciting. Also, Jack is here with me hanging out. So, there's Jack. And, yeah, I'm going to go put him in the cat cave. Chris is out this morning at his mom's house. So, I'm going to go put the cat away and then head to go get roller skates. I think he heard that I'm going to put him away. Okay, so this is my outfit for today day there is my cat <laughs> so anyways i have on this bodysuit and yeah i don't really know what to say about it except for it's a bodysuit i got it at plato's closet and then i am like obsessed with this cardigan it's so soft and comfortable i just thrifted this a couple weeks ago and i got it for three dollars but it's from the brand theory which they sell at like nordstrom and so it's like super high quality but yeah i got it for three dollars and it was in like perfect condition so i love this and i just love like how simple it looks chris asked me he's like do you know that you're wearing white and off-white and i'm like yeah honey it's cute okay it's fine so anyways i have that on and then i got these madewell jeans from plato's closet if you can't tell i love thrifting and consignment i feel like this is like a common theme in all of my videos but i really do I think these are so cute and I actually just ordered another pair of Madewell jeans off of Poshmark because I love these ones so much and then my sandals I'm not really sure what Jack is doing over there but my sandals are from Old Navy and I have these in two different colors so I have like those taupey colored ones that I wore earlier this week and then I have these bright white ones which are fun with my bright white nails so that is the outfit for today I'll back up just a little bit more so you can see it that's the outfit for today I reorganized my closet last weekend so it's still like a little bit messy but not too bad and this is just like our spare bedroom over here i have my little mirror sticker from my cricket video slash like self-care video that i uploaded a couple weeks ago or maybe last week i don't really remember but yeah so that's what i'm wearing today and now i'm gonna go take off i'm gonna go to the library i'm gonna get some roller skates i'm so excited so i will see you in a little bit also this is the perfume i've been wearing the last like week or so i picked this up from old navy just like on a whim because it was in the checkout 
lane and it was on clearance for like four or five dollars i believe and so apparently it was limited edition so if you can still find this at your old navy i definitely recommend it i think it smells so good and i really like it so it lasts pretty well throughout the day as well so yay really cheap perfume so also it matches the wall color <laughs> Okay, so I just parked in a parking garage at the mall, but I wanted to show you guys the books that I picked up from the library. So I'm gonna quickly do that, and then I'm gonna go into the mall, and I'm going to get my roller skates. There's a Zoomies in this mall, which was one of the only places I could find around me that sold roller skates. So hopefully they have my size and everything. But anyways, I picked up a bunch of books about ecosystems, because we are currently doing an ecosystem or like biome research project. So I picked up a bunch of books about different ecosystems systems and then also I picked up this book which I just like found this looking around but I had been wanting to read this all the way through because this is the new Travis Junker book and he actually did an author visit like a virtual author visit with my school so super cool Travis Junker also wrote The Last Castle which my students really enjoyed so excited to have this one for a little while and be able to read that to my students or just share it with them and I have a very wide variety of different books that I picked out so I just kind of wandered around I had placed an order like to pick up the ecosystem book so I didn't have to go find those but other than that I just walked around and like found whatever books looked interesting and actually spent a lot longer at the library than I expected to but I just love like browsing it's so fun so so I picked up this book, which is the third book in this series. It's the Greystone Secret series. And I read the first two books in the series, really, really liked them. So I'm excited to read this one as well. Then I picked up this middle grade novel. This is Santiago's Road Home. I haven't really heard anything about this book, but it just looked interesting. This is another middle grade one. If I didn't say that already, I think I did. <laughs> so two middle grade books. And then I also picked up this one, which just seemed interesting. It was in the self-help section and I've really been liking self-help books lately. I know it's like kind of cringy, but it's okay. This is called Compelling People, The Hidden Qualities That Make Us Influential. So I'm like, I want to be more compelling. That's fun. I like that. And then I also picked up one called The Art of Mingling. So I thought that was kind of fun. So I don't know. I just love like self-help type books. I think they're fun. I'm kind of going through a phase right now. And then the last one that I got, I saw this one as I was about to check out actually. This one is Understanding Jim Crow. And it says using racist memorabilia to te teach tolerance and promote social justice. So I thought this sounded really interesting. I haven't seen this book before, but I'm looking forward to learning from this book. So yes, those are the books that I picked up from the library. Like I said, I had placed a hold for all of the ecosystem biome books and then just kind of wandered around and found the other ones, which was really fun. So now I'm going to go into the mall. I'm gonna go into Zoomies, hopefully get my roller skates. I'm so excited. So I will keep you posted. All right, let's go. Okay, so I need to move my seat back a second so we can talk. I am still in the parking garage. <laughs> well, I just got out of the mall. Now I'm back in the parking garage, but I did move my car because the guy who I was parked next to was sitting in his car like eating lunch and I felt kind of awkward like filming right there. <laughs> so I'm back in my car now. Zoomies had the Impala roller skates. I'm so excited. They're so cute, you guys. And they didn't have anything to like try them on with in store. Like they didn't have like little footies and I'm wearing sandals today. So I ended up buying a pair of socks as well so I could try them on. So they're beautiful. They're really hard to hold up. So let me take them out of the box actually so you can see them. They're so cute. Okay, so I got these ones that are blue with pink laces and then a pink interior. They're so stinking cute. I love them. They're not laced all the way yet, obviously. And honestly, part of me wants to get yellow laces because how cute would that be? But they didn't have any there that I could find. And they had like a limit for how many people could come in the store. So I didn't want to stay there for like too, too long. So anyways, I'm really excited though. I got these and then I got these little donut socks just so I could like try them on with socks, you know, and not just try them on with my bare feet because I feel like that's kind of gross but they fit great with those socks. I don't like love those socks, but I ended up buying them so I could try them on. It's fine. And then also while I was in the mall, I went to the JCPenney's 
Sephora, so like the Sephora within JCPenney's, which um, my best friend Melissa taught me. They usually do different sales there, and they usually have like pretty good sales and like clearance and stuff. So I got my favorite ever dry shampoo. A lot of people don't like this, so just a fair warning, but this is the Burnett dry shampoo, and the nice thing that I like about this is it has like a brown cast to it, so if my gray hairs are coming in, I can cover them with this, and I really like it, but I will say like if you try to massage it in with your hands, your hands like turn brown. So just a little fair warning there, but it was like 30% off, so I got that, and then I also really like this dry bar prime and prep prep rally, prep rally? Yeah, prep rally. And this was also like 30% off, I think. So I got this Becca foundation. It was $11. I think it was like 30 something originally. And I believe Becca like isn't in business anymore. Like they're not making new products and that's why it's all on clearance. So this is the foundation though. It's supposed to be like a medium weight, which I like. So I'm excited about that. I've never tried any Becca products except for their um, highlighters. I've only ever used their highlighters, I believe. So I'm excited to try that foundation. And now I'm actually right beside a Marshalls. So I think I'm going to run into Marshalls a minute and then maybe grab some lunch while I'm out. And then I am going to meet up with my mom at two o'clock. And right now it's only like noon. So I have a couple hours until I'm going to meet up with her. So I might go home in between. We'll see. I wonder where it would have yellow laces. Oh, and then I also need to get, I meant to look while I was at Zoomies, but I forgot. I honestly was very overwhelmed. I don't think I've ever been in a Zoomies before. It was like very dark and like it was small and tight and I was just like, ah. So anyways, I was a little overwhelmed when I was in Zoomies, so I didn't really like look around that much, but I need to get elbow pads as well and like um, knee pads. So I need to look for those somewhere. I don't exactly know where to get those. I probably should have looked there. Maybe I can look at like a Dick Sporting Goods or something like that. I don't really know. Okay, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, so I just edited all of the vlog up until this point right now, and I wanted to show you. I finished lacing up the roller skates, and they look so stinking cute. I'm so excited to take these out today. It's actually Sunday morning right now, and last night on Saturday, it was raining all afternoon, all evening, and so I didn't get to take them out yesterday, which I was really bummed about. Today, it looks like there's supposed to be a little bit of rain, but I'm hoping it will dry up enough that maybe I can take these out tonight. So I'm super excited about these, but like I said, I haven't actually used them yet. And then I did find some knee pads as well at Dunham's and they look like this. I wasn't able to find any elbow pads though, but I did find at least some knee pads, which is a good start. So they're just like kind of boring black ones, but that's okay. So I got those and maybe soon you'll see me roller skating in a video. That would be super fun. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure to turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.